and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be taking a look at these line pa painters. They're from Derwent and they're called Graphic, so Graph with IK on the end, and they're like a paint in a pen. Now I've never used these before, this is the first time for me. There's several different colours and I decided to go with just a basic colour set of some greys and black and white. So you get five colours in a little pack and there, like I said there are a few different sets you can get with various colourways so I decided to go for this one. Now the first thing to say is I went onto Derwent's website to look at these. I can't just remember the exact, exact price of them on Derwent's website but then I then went on to Amazon and because I've got an Amazon Prime account and with Derwent you would have had to pay the postage they actually worked out cheaper buying them on Amazon because they were slightly reduced anyway and they didn't have the postage so that's worth bearing in mind when you're looking for anything like this to shop around because you would expect them to be the cheapest on the manufacturer's website but they weren't so and the great thing about Prime is I only ordered them yesterday and they're here today so that's that's good as well so I will link them uh, down below if you if you fancy having a go with them yourself and you've not seen them before so I've not seen them used I, the reason I decided to buy them was because I thought it would be a good way to get both the line and some washes as well into your work in something that could be quite transportable um, I did think I might take these to life drawing with me on a weekend because I could take some perhaps water pens with me, water brushes rather, and then I've got the watery feel and the feel of the line as well, it was something that's easy to carry and take around with me. So that was my main reason for getting them. Um, so let's see first of all what it says. So it says water-based pigment painter. So that's self-explanatory really, they're basically a pen that you can paint with. Um, and if you look, they come. There was no extra packaging. This is the only packaging they came in, and it's already in a handy little um, pack that you can keep them in and leave them in. So I'll just take this card off that they come with, and we'll have a look at the other side of that. So again, it just tells you the name. It tells you that they're fluid. They're opaque. Now they are. They will be opaque when you put them in on as they come off straight off the pen. But obviously, if you add water to that, that's going to change. They're going to be more transparent. They're permanent, and it's a water-based paint. Um, and there's five in there. It does it actually tell you the colours? I think the colours are probably written on the side. But there is a handy chart of all the colours. So if you look there, there's 20 colours all together. So I've got this neutral set at the end, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Of Like I said, there's three grey colours, a white and a black. These look quite nice, these uh, brighter colours as well. So if I get on with them and I enjoy them, I may um, buy some more colours. So first of all, it says you've got to shake them. And then to make them flow, it's telling you that you've got to press the tip down. And it also says to keep them horizontal, store them horizontally when once you've finished using them. So that's something I'll have to remember, if you, especially if you're transporting them, that you keep them horizontal. So we'll go and have a look at them now. So it's worth, probably worth keeping that for future reference, particularly if you fancy ordering some extra colours. So like I said, there's five in a pack. Put that to one side, and they're covered in plastic. Which, why do they need to be covered in plastic? Isn't that silly? More wasted plastic. So, I shall just switch the video off a minute whilst I get this ridiculous plastic off them all. Okay, so I've removed all that plastic. So, if we have a look, quick look at the colours, so that's black and white, I'm assuming. It just says magic on. Oh, they've got names on, so that one's magic. And the white one is snow. We've got a fox, graphite and jungle. Jungle looks quite an interesting colour. It's not so much grey as, I don't know what you call it, a mushroomy type of colour. So perhaps I'll start with that one. So it says to give them a good shake to begin with. And as you'll see, I've just drawn a very quick pencil sketch of a girl there. Um, something for me to, you know, to work on rather than just drawing abstract lines. So give them a good shake. And I think actually what I'll do is I'll do a background first. So we'll just wet the paper and see how much colour there is in these before I start actually just drawing with them. And I'm hoping the thing about these is you better layer them up so you're going to get a nice combination between washes and lines and then back again with some more expressive lines maybe or some more defined lines 
Uh, so trying to keep mixing it up a bit and I think this will suit my style um, similar to how I work with my mixed media. So to make it come out you have to press it and there's nothing coming out. Maybe. So you can see that's denting my paper. So this is a mixed media pad and I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up but it's actually denting my paper there. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to have to shake this before I can get it to come out. It is not coming out. Oh, oh there you go. So that's the tip. If you can't get it to come out, give it a flick. And now it's now it's working. So obviously that initial that initial thing it needed to be um Splat it out. So you can splat it out like that, can you see, as well as using it like that. So it's not moving out too quickly into the, that wet paper. So you could manipulate it with your brush. So perhaps I shouldn't have been as rough and made those dents in my paper. It's quite a nice colour. A scribble into that as well. So by pr pressing it down, you're making more come out. So you could then manipulate it once it's out, so no more's coming out. But then you're moving it around. So press it to make it come out, and then move it. And don't forget that's going to be permanent as soon as it's dry. So let's have another look at some of the other colours just in this messy bit that I've now created to the side. And perhaps we'll set off by flicking them to try and get some of that colour out. No, it's not coming. I think I'll have to come back to you once I've got all of these pens to work. So this, I hope they don't do that this every time. I hope, I'm hoping that it's just because it's new. There you go, it's coming now. You know, if they dried up like that every time and you had to have a workout to get them working before you could set off drawing, it wouldn't be much good. So I'm hoping that's just because they're new. So that's a nice colour as well. So that one is, what did it say, graphite. So let's go ahead and try and do some sketching with her on this one, using this one. Whoops. So you can see there I've pressed on way too hard so then I'm going to use some of that paint that I've got there. And move it around. I mean, you, if you make a mess like that you can always suck it up with a brush or a tissue or something. Because I've never used these before so it's all new to me. So it's very much like a paint rather than an ink. Is what I would say about these. No, I just think she's got dark jeans on, and that's going to be some of that. Again, look, it's just come out too quick there, but then you can use it to paint with. So this is going to end up a very messy picture, but. It's just getting, going to be getting used to them and I can see that they are going to do what I wanted to get them to do which was to use them both as a paint and as a pen for the detail so that when you're going to when you're going out and about and you're sketching you can get that line and you can get some washes to build up some tone as well and some colour so maybe if you've got the other colours um, you know that you could, that are available. So to get some more detail, but then also to have a bit of fun making some more expressive lines and I've made a mess of her, her eyes there. Oh, Ooh, she looks grumpy, doesn't she? Um, I 
whoops so you can see I didn't want that to come out like that there so I'm really really going to have to practice with these don't look at her face just pretend I haven't made that mess <laughs> I haven't done much sketching this week because I've not been feeling too bright so forgive me if I sound a bit groggy. So I'm hoping that once that, um, obviously once that dries I'll be able to come back on top of it but I'm sure you can mix the colours together as well whilst they're wet. Okay so this is the black one, Magic. Maybe it's not actually black, it's quite a blue black, which is actually quite nice, uh, nice than just having a very dark black. I mean, it is dark, but it, to me that looks quite bluey. So that's quite actually quite nice. Make her hair a bit darker, maybe. So there's all sorts you could do with these and you can mix them together where they're still a little bit wet you can where they've dried you can come back on top just have a bit of fun have a bit of a play with them so I will come back another day and do some um, something more structured than this something that I've spent a bit more time working out I just really wanted to have a play and see what they could do. I'm just going to wet again, wet the paper at this side. This is only a mixed media paper, you're going to get different results with um, different papers using you know, a more expensive watercolour paper or whatever, you might get completely different results. So I'll just have a go at flicking, whoa look at that, so that was just one little flick so much better than when we tried it the first time because obviously the first time those pens were dry and I needed to get them going so it'll be interesting tomorrow to see if they um, you know flick out like this the first time or if I've got to get them going again not as much colour coming out of that it's a much paler colour than the black if we put that into it that's nice that you can get the light colours sitting on top of the dark colour there so we'll try the white and again where we've got some dry areas see if the white covers over because that's going to be handy for getting some highlight back later on. Okay so I've got that white moving now. Let's see. So it is going to sit nicely over the top of the darker colours. I mean look at that, that's great that you can just draw with some white paint like that over the top of that darker colour and get those highlights back. So again for when you're doing taking them out and about and you want to get a highlight back, that's going to be fantastic for that. If you just keep keep it down and keep it flowing, you can get quite a bit out. And then you can paint more with it. So you can get your brush. You might not be able to see that with it being white anyway, but you can get your brush and move that around. That's just fantastic how you can cover up. That's going to be really handy to use white on top of um, on top of the dark colours there. And have a bit of fun with working both wet in wet and on dry paper as well. So I think for what I wanted them for they're going to be great um, so I can go I can do a sketch have my line there have my line showing and also have some washes for some tone. The only thing that does concern me is where it came out too quickly for me and I made a mess I would have quickly have to scoop that up but I think that's going to be something that comes with practice probably the more you use them the more you know 
how much pressure to put on that nib for the, to get the flow right and that's the same when you're using your dip pen and everything you've got to get to know your own materials and know how quickly that flows so that you don't make those, those mistakes I mean one thing with one way I was thinking of working really was um, taking these with me because I want it to be transportable so I would perhaps do something like um, make a line I'm running out of paper here but, you know but if you make some lines as part of your drawing um, and then I was hoping to work quite quickly and while that's maybe still a little bit wet to bring some of that colour out for some of the tones um, so that's obviously going to work quite well as long as I work quite quickly because obviously as soon as that's dry that's going to be permanent so you want to uh, keep that line wet whilst you do that but that'd be a good way to get some tones going and then obviously you can drop some colour into that as well and cover some by making it come out more you can cover some paper quite solidly so you can have it really opaque as opaque and dark as you want or as transparent as you want by adding some water so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to use them with these um, and which colour haven't I used I don't think I've used that fox one have I is that the fox or was no, no, I haven't used Fox, so let's get that one shaken up. Okay, so the Fox is actually, I would call it more or less silver. So it's a, a much more silvery grey than that grey that I used first of all, which was the graphite. So that was that one, wasn't it? Let's have a look. No, that was Jungle. and that was graphite so the graphite was the one we used on a t-shirt here the jungle was these much paler colors and then this one to me looks very silvery can you see if I put that next to the graphite one you perhaps whether the camera picks that up or not I'm not sure but to me that's very very silvery see if I can flick some out yeah quite silvery. I'm sorry I've completely lost my thread there, I forgot what I was talking about because somebody came to the door so I've just had a tap to break for 10 minutes. Um, but I think more or less looked at everything that we could do with those pens. So like I said you can use them to get that fine detail and you can use them to get some nice watery washes and some expressive lines. So if you did want to come in with some fine, very fine drawing, um, you know some nice straight lines very much more detailed you could do as well afterwards so whilst I've been talking to the lady that came to the door this has been drying so again you can put some nice highlights over that so look how well that white shows up and if we get some more to come out you know you can even get that back to more or less opaque white on top of that black to get your highlights back so you don't have to worry about losing those okay so apart from the fact that she looks incredibly grumpy and not uh, very attractive with that face um, I think that was quite a successful try out of those pens we've just put them through the paces a little bit the only thing that concerns me is will you have to shake them that much every time to get them to flow the first time I don't think you will have to I think that will be because when you first buy them the nibs will be completely dry and it'll take a little while for that to work down um, and don't forget you've got to store them horizontally so that's the only thing that really concerns me apart from it flowing out too quickly which that will be all down to me getting to know them and practice with that so like everything else that's just going to be practice using them more and more and getting used to what they can and can't do and then I'll go on and try using them with different media as well these would be quite nice to work with the Derwent ink tents so you could do um, some washes with your ink tents and then you could draw on top with your liners or you could layer it up you could get some colours of the ink tents underneath and then some of these on top um, and I think it would be rather nice to actually treat myself to some of these other colours if you look at these some lovely um, like a turquoisey blue there and a, a nice green and these pinks and oranges 
nice hot colours there. Um, I think will be rather nice and I do like the fact that they come in these so we can transport them. So I'll try them another time on a watercolour paper. This was just a mixed media paper for a bit of a play and a mess around. Um, I hope you found that useful if you've got them. If you haven't got them and you were fancying giving them a go, I hope that's given you a bit of an insight into them. And I will use them again most definitely. I do like them um, and I'll perhaps do something a bit more detailed and a bit more structured next time. This was just to have a bit of fun and a play with them and see what they can do. So let me know what you think in the comments below, particularly if you've got them it would be helpful for other people if you could pop that in the comments below and let them know what you think and have you got the other colours and do you like them because that would be something that would be handy for me to know so thank you very much for watching I'll be back again soon with another tutorial or demonstration I'm here every Monday and Thursday for those of you that are new to the channel thanks for joining us for the first time and don't forget you can subscribe below to see more of my tutorials thanks for watching and bye bye for now